Hey guys, and welcome to some more Star Citizen. So patch 1.1.3 came out, and I was hoping that was going to fix some of the lag issues that I was having, and it hasn't really. But I have made a user.cfg file, which helps me a lot. A lot of people are basically getting a problem that when a ship explodes, normally due to missile fire, I think it's actually when the power plant explodes, uh, it causes quite a lot of lag for quite a long amount of time. Um, and if that happens a lot, so if multiple ships explode due to missile fire or just explode in a very short period of time, it will lag about for ages. Buggerton gets lagged out for about 45 seconds at some point. And obviously you're going to get killed in that time. Um, you're probably just going to fly off into the edge of the arena and just get vaporized by the, uh, the walls. But my user.cfg seems to help me a lot. Uh, so we're going to jump into Arena Commander. I'll show you me blowing up some ships. I still do get fractional lag, or at least I get lag when a ship explodes, but so briefly compared to what I did. And then I'll share the settings, and hopefully that will help you as well. Um, it is a little bit different in multiplayer and single player, uh, but it, it still improves both. And uh, there's not too much of a quality drop either. Um, in fact, I get a load more frames per second, which is quite nice. And let's jump in. You can see there, I shot my teammate, <laughs> blew up his engine or power plant there. Uh, didn't really cause much lag at all. Um, oh, shit. I didn't realise I was going to get shot by these chuckle fucks. I need to blow you up. Sorry, dude. That's what happens when you explode. I see you do get a little tiny bit of lag. You saw a fractional pause there. I say fractional. It's probably about a uh, fifth of a second. A fifth of a second. Um, but it's a billion times better than it was. It's just like a tiny, tiny little pause. Um, and that's basically what this does. I'll bring up my user.cfg um, and there'll be details in the description um, and links to other videos I've done on the user.cfgs. But I'll put all of the details in the description and I'll actually bring it up on the screen now so I can show you. So this is my user.cfg file. Basically what you want to do is you want to go into your Star Citizen install directory and then go into Citizen Client folder uh, and then make a notepad document uh, or just a text document, as it were, uh, user.cfg. Um, and you put that in there with these settings. This is my user.cfg. Um, and these settings are the most important to what um, it was going on at the moment. This is what I'm getting, uh, fixing a lot of the lag with, getting me a load of frames per second with. So the gamma here um, is just because I like it slightly brighter. The max frames I set to the refresh rate of my monitor because that's what you want. You want it to be um, getting max frames of whatever your refresh rate on your monitor is. Um, I turn off VSync. VSync seems to cause a load of problems. Um, the max text res on shadows I turn down to 64. Really, you don't really notice. Um, it doesn't give that much of an improvement normally. Um, and I leave it on 256 normally. But it seems to actually fix a little bit of the lag with this. Uh, particles, physics, shadows, uh, volumetric effects, water and sound. I all reduce to one. That seems to have a massive effect on your GPU and CPU. Um, and when the stuff is exploding, when the engines are exploding or the power plants are exploding, whatever is exploding, um, it seems to really skyrocket your GPU and CPU. And this is to help reduce the load on that so that you don't get it for so long or don't get it at all. Uh, color grading uh, and GSM cache. Uh, these settings are what people have advised me as well to put on to get performance without noticeable, um, uh, without anything really looking crap. <laughs> was the idea uh, and GSM cache I think it, it caches uh, some form of like lighting effect or some form of effect um, and when the explosions happen uh, it, it looks for that and apparently that just helps the rest of these settings like depth of field and motion blur and stuff uh, are for my personal preferences I do advise you to put them um, to my settings because um, like uh, I don't like motion blur I don't like stuff being blurred out in the distance it's not very good for aiming uh, so lots of that, lots of that's for that. And when you're running around in your hangar, I don't want um, HUD bob stuff like that. You can see the game still looks really pretty. Um, I I just like that I'm getting a, a massive amount of uh, FPS, and I can now shoot stuff, aim stuff, kill people in PvP, which is useful. Uh, I don't get all that lag that I was getting before with missiles and ships exploding, and uh, yeah, it's just a much nicer experience. In multiplayer, because um, I am running single player, you do notice a little bit more lag, um, but I mean, it's fractional compared to what it used to be. Uh, hopefully that will help a lot of people, or at least some people. Um, my system specs are in the description as well. Uh, I'll also try and put in what drivers I'm using. I think I'm using the NVIDIA drivers 
or GTA 5, uh, the latest ones that they recommend. Um, and yeah, I hope this helps a few people. Um, definitely help NVIDIA and, and uh, Intel users, pretty sure. But, uh, anyway guys, you take care, thank you very much for watching and listening. I hope that was informative, or at least something, and I hope it helps you. I'll see you in the verse, or next time or something. Bye guys! Whee. Oh, you lagged me out! It's not as bad as you normally do.